Hey guys, what's going on? Texan Yammer Guy here again. In this commentary, I'm going to be talking about how YouTube is going to start a premium program where you have to pay $1.99 a month per subscription. This is not going to be for my channel. It's only going to be for these top premium channels such as Machinima, uh, maybe some other, maybe Vivo, they, where they produce music videos for uh, professional artists. But this is how it's gonna work so let's say Woody's Gamertag for example if he if he were to be accepted into this premium program or apply or however such you get into it then every time like if I want to subscribe to him I'd have to pay a dollar ninety nine a month and this would include ad free watching no ads on his channel videos but this is this how YouTube works is you get paid through ad revenue and ad revenue is like well, that's part of how you get paid is through ad revenue, which is like how people click on your ads. The other is just by views and other stuff like that. But so how this this might affect the way, like how easy or how hard it does to it is for bigger YouTubers or smaller YouTubers to get out there. Just because if you're paying a dollar ninety nine a month to subscribe to someone, you're probably gonna have to watch them very frequently, and they're gonna have to be posting two or three videos a day. Because I know I'm not gonna be subscribed to someone a dollar ninety nine a month. That's what twenty four dollars a year just to watch videos. And if they only post one video a day, or maybe once a week, like so. FPS Russia, good example. He spends up to ten thousand to six thousand dollars a video because of how much ammunition and he he made about three videos back to back of him blowing up cars. If you put in consideration of how much money that is, then you realize that this this sort of premium thing may not help a channel out such as him because he posts a video out maybe three times a month but so much money goes into those videos that he has to expect that his viewers would always watch those videos so he does get that re the, the revenue back from it so then he can continue to make the videos so th this is just it seems kinda strange to me but it it is also preventing things or er, it's counteracting, I guess you could say, to things such as Mozilla Firefox, which does has ad block on it, where I believe you don't get any sort of cookies or ads. And the way it works is so, like, let's say if I, for for example, since I just bought a Blue Yeti, uh, I'm not using it to record, but so if I go to Blue.com and I click on the Yeti, and then let's say I go to Social Blade, then I look at my stats, and there's usually an ad down there at the bottom of my stats. It's most likely going to have something to do with any sort of microphone on Amazon or something like that. That's called, like, I believe, ad tracing or something like that. And Mozilla has cookie preventers or some sort of thing that prevents the cookies from tracing what you go through and what type of ads that it pops up. But I, did, I did get this from Woody's Gamertag where he was saying that there was some sort of commercial for staples or some sort of some weird commercial where it came in like different series like there's an episode one to the ad and an episode two and if all the cookies are disabled then it doesn't remember that you watched episode one and then you go and the next time it comes up it's episode two no they would come up in random orders like it'd be like four one five two three seven like weird orders like that so you really wouldn't know what was going on and this also kind of plays into the privacy issues so if a cookie or an ad can trace what you've been looking at then that's some and somewhat it's violating your privacy and seeing what you've been doing on your computer and basically tracks what you do through your Wi-Fi and this bothers people but it's really never bothered me because sometimes those ads that you do see they actually do grab your attention because it traces what you do so for example if again if I'm looking at a microphone and it's the Yeti's 150 bucks and I go and I'm on another website and I see an ad and it says Yeti 89.99 I mean that's gonna draw my attention because I've looking I've been looking at one and just been trying to find the best deal and whenever it shows that it, it grabs the, the viewers attention or the the customer I guess you could say since it's sort of an ad grabs their attention and draws them into it so all of this ties back into many things so you got your ad ad block um, from Mozilla then you got your privacy through the ads and the cookies from Mozilla or other browsers such as Chrome Internet Explorer Safari other things like that I think there's one like Omega a whole bunch of other ones but those are just the ones that I know of and then so I don't really know of any channels right now but I have heard that Machinima is going to be trying to 
maybe get their program into that since they do post about five videos a day so this would this would be a good thing for uh, channels like that or and this might also attract professionals to YouTube like maybe such as TV shows so like let's say if Walking Dead came to YouTube th people would have to pay a dollar ninety nine a month to watch them and let's so what they post a new video every Wednesday so you're getting three to four episodes a month for two dollars and two dollars you get twenty four dollars a month or a year excuse me but see there's there's things like that where you gotta balance out how many people are gonna subscribe for that or just go watch it on TV but on TV you got the ads and if it was on YouTube you would have to deal with any ads so whatsoever <laughs> stumbling over my words there excuse me but you wouldn't have to deal with any sort of ads or any sort of pop-ups or cookies or plugins any any sort of thing like that but that those are just my opinions my opinions it, it would help bigger channels that post like machinima five five or more videos a day or attract professionals such as TV series or news channels I, th I think that'd be kinda weird but any sort of professional or high quality high uh, upload or not high upload um like ex not extreme oh, I can't find the word but channels or companies that would post like like once a week and they'd be like our episodes such as Walking Dead or you'd be posting five five minute videos a day see things like that would actually generate more revenue for YouTube and for that channel or partner whatever you want to call it so as I said again since I am basically a small youtuber this will not be affecting me but look for it on big channels similar to machinima maybe vivo um, I can't really think of any right now top of my head um, I, I believe her something like game slug or some weird some weird channel I've never heard of but I, I guess I'll, I'll try to leave another sort of uh, summary or paragraph not paragraph uh, summary or description down below in the description that's kinda funny but so just leave your opinions on what you think I mean I think that it can be it can be resourceful but then kinda it can hurt and help it's it kinda kinda counteracts itself like it makes me it makes like I, like as of right now I mean I can only probably think of one or two youtubers I would su subscribe to Maybe maybe three basically. So TBNR Frags, he has two channels. I'd probably subscribe to TBNR Frags and Preston Place. So you would get four bucks a month there. Then maybe Woody's Gamer Tag and T-Mart. Now I'm already up to eight bucks a month. Eight dollars a month. I can pay I can pay eight dollars a month for Netflix and watch however many movies and TV shows I want. But if you think about it, they only post like one to two videos a day. So you kind of got to balance that. Like, and then so my family, we already have Netflix. Um, might I might try Gamefly, so that's already 18 bucks a month. And then if if any channels that I do watch start this, that can go up to what? It, so 26 dollars a month, just just for things that I. And if you keep adding on to like maybe if you have magazines or coffee subscriptions or any sort of things like that, it's just like a sucking leech onto your wallet, sucking money constantly out of your wallet, your hard-earned money. But it has its downfalls and definitely has its upsides so that's that's all I can really think of for now so stay tuned for plenty more videos and maybe I should be doing a giveaway guys uh, should be a video one or two after this talking about it so stay tuned and then uh, I should be posting another video here soon if I do find any channels or maybe an update to talk about this um, talk about channels that are going to be affected how they're going to be affected when this effect will happen I've heard that it will be in this week of so what's it today's May 9th so in the week of what the 6th to the 10th or maybe next week the week after it should be happening very fairly fairly fast like like they're trying to get this done so they can start making revenue because YouTube has been lo losing lots of money so if you don't know this that on mobile views like anybody that gets paid like a partner such as me we don't get paid for mobile views even though there are ads on mobile views you can't trace who watches them so it's kind of it's kind of so basically what they've done is like I can go watch my my video on my phone a thousand times and click on all the ads and and then I'll get paid but they've they've still put the ads on there but it doesn't pay the partners it pays YouTube so the ads on mobile devices don't help the the people you're watching. It helps the the YouTube a, the actual company. So if you didn't know that, there's that. So I would definitely consider getting on a laptop or a computer and watching videos to help out those guys that you watch, such as I. Yes, I know I'm a beast. 
Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.